Hi friend, in this video I will show you how to make the picture in reprint software and how to save it. First, before you open reprint software, please insert the blue dongle key to the, your computer. Here, see, I just inserted the blue dongle key and here I click my PC I can see a 124 megabits USB drive here. This one it means the computer recognize your blue dangle key. Now I can open the reprint software because if you don't use the dangle key to make pictures, the pictures then your print will have some watermark of reprint soft software and also you will cannot set the spot color in reprint for white and vanish and now I just opened it and I'll show you see I can click spot color and now I will plug off the dongle key I plugged off I click the spot color again see permission denied it means you you didn't insert you don't insert your dongle key I insert it again it works and now I will firstly introduce the interface of this reprint software here this one is the main menu you can set new canvas and open the canvas which you have saved and you save the picture which you have already edited it but you haven't transferred it to a PRN type image and this is the canvas setting the canvas setting cannot be larger than the flat bed size set this white and hat and you can adjust your unit you used then show you the printer setting double click it you can see it support four color group and six color group the file type is PRN and the version is for UV ink Epson XP600 focus the first step new click new and I set the canvas setting now I take 60 by 90 centimeter as an example to show you this is the canvas size the largest the mixed size of the flatbed okay second step click import we just uh, made the spot channel of this diamond one two three I opened this this is the reprint software support TIF, BMP, GPG, PDF, and DXIF, AI, EPS files. So, so you can, uh, if you don't need very special white or vanish, you can directly open your original picture in the reprint software. I just want to show you the best quality, so I made it in the Photoshop. Open. Okay. Now I choose this picture right click it choose output size for example I want to print as 300 millimeter and I want to keep the ratio click OK if I want to print smaller for example 100 percent okay and I want to print uh, several of the same picture so I can copy it paste it I can multiple paste it to set the spacing vertical and horizontal spacing and the repeat count I want the spacing I want to set it 5 I just show you as an example click OK the full size see full of the canvas also 
you can use if you input different two different pictures and you want to align the two, you can directly choose it and mark it to move it. It will show you some guidelines so you know which the correct position to make it. Click this one, layout. Here will show you something and this I can rotate the picture and this is for the mirror format you can set here and also can set in the print setting here if you click show it here can change language Chinese and English and change the ruler unit this unit ruler unit and if I think this picture is very large and I don't like it or the picture you have has many empty areas you can use this one the clipping image use the force tool see Control plus Z at the same time, it will go back to the last step. And this one, you can draw some pictures or draw some ships, articles, and click view. You can change the color. Delete it, copy, paste, undo, redo. And you can also tap some words here. Adjust the size, delete it, add some footnote, the file name, printer name, so you will, it will automatically show you the settings, the information about the picture you print. Then Spot color. This picture, the focus diamond one two three picture, we made white and vanish channel in Photoshop. So here, I can set them stop. The type is stop. Uh, you can see here has three spot channel spot color settings, but we only use the first spot color and the second spot color because the first spot color is for white and second for varnish and we don't use we don't have a false print head so always please always set the third spot color no and since I set them spot so here I can choose the white and the varnish the first and second spot color spot and if you don't make the spot channel in Photoshop, you just directly open your original picture in reprint software. Here you can also choose the image base or some or choose the all area to print that and vanish. You can set the density, adjust it, and here has a shrink function it means if you don't want print too much white because you don't want to see any white ink in instead of the picture you can shrink white it will for example i shrink 0 0.1 millimeter it means i this i will print white smaller than color about 0 0.1 millimeter and here is this half, half tone type Please remember one thing, you cannot choose single dot mode. Single dot mode is not applied in this software because if you choose it and click OK, choose it, click single dot mode, then when you click print, it will show you some error information. So, And generally, we suggest our customer to use the large middle dot or use the pure middle or large dot mode as they like or use some smooth mode. Here I take middle and small dot as an example to show you. 
click OK. The last step is to click print. And here ha has some solution for you. We made four curve solution based on our ink for our customer to support our customers the more beautiful resolution to print the picture. You can use as you need. We have two curve for soft ink, two curve for hard ink. And if some of our customers don't like the color, you can also macro adjust it in this advanced settings. You can use the ICC file and some transform tab, the pure color mode. Okay, I don't use it. If you only print full color, if you and here please confirm this color order is six color, and here you can also adjust the thickness of the ink you print, and also you can make your own curve in this page. Okay, and please don't forget to choose forward output. Choose forward output, the picture will directly be printed in the direction you sh it's shown in the software. If you don't choose the, this forward output, it will print horizontally reverse. And if you need to print on glass or some kind of transparency materials, and you will need to print the color first, then print the white on color. Maybe you need these two function: horizontal mirror or the vertical mirror. It depends on the direction you put your picture. And here has some multiple print functions. It's similar with the repeat function and print the frame. It will print the outlets of the picture so you can make the position. You can know where you can put your materials you projected on the that on the flight bed, then print on it. This ground economic you can see the ink. If you print black color, your picture has black color but your and your background of the material is black color, you can choose here to see little black ink for you. After all this setting done, the set, send tab choose file. The name mode, choose customer, click print. Choose the location you want to see the picture. Here I choose the desktop, the same desktop as an example and Name it as I like. I like Focus Diamond. See, here you can see it shows you the progress of the saving as a PRN file status 100%. Then you can open this picture, the PRN file from the Print Dream software, control software to print. You can see on the desktop this one. And also, the reprint software has another function about the workspace print. I said I want to turn, and I want the wide is 10, the height is 12, the horizontal interval I like it 10, and this one 5. Okay, I change this 5 too. Click OK, show like this. You can adjust the size as you like. Then you can print it or you can directly add your picture here. Show this one. Fit the size. Okay, thank you.